come back dragging uh, roadkill that he would hide under my back porch. Uh, President Biden's energy policy looks like something Roger used to keep under my back porch. <laughs> Ever since the administration got into office, it's been a lack of opportunity. It's, it's almost been a cancel culture when it comes to uh, resources, especially energy here in the state of Alaska. I would be talking to the Iranians. We don't need their oil or gas or any energy. Why would he be making enemy countries rich? Correctly, you could get oil and gas out of western Pennsylvania. You could get it out of eastern Ohio. You could get it out of West Virginia, North Dakota, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, all across the country. Or you could rip off the American industry industry, lay people off, cripple us as a country, and buy it from dictators around the world. I can't wait for the rails to, to be running and make sure they have plenty of rail cars available to haul off these carloads of bovine residue that's being s spread around here today. So here's a non-Gilded Age question. Why is Joe, Joe Biden draining America's strategic petroleum reserve? He's doing it for election eve political price fixing. It's the most corrupt thing I've ever seen. This administration's energy policies are forcing people into energy poverty. We are now going to countries and asking them for energy because we're refusing to produce it. This administration has tapped more energy out of our strategic reserves, our emergency reserves, than every other president in American history combined. Put Clearly, the only emergency we're facing right now is the lack of supply of energy in this country that's a result of this administration's assault and attack on energy production. If you wanted to fund Vladimir Putin, you have to drain his tank. You have to defund him on energy. So what have we seen from the President of the United States? Well, Joe Biden spent all last year acting like Vladimir Putin was his Secretary of the Energy. Joe Biden played right along. Putin wanted it. Biden did it, followed the Secretary of Energy. Biden decided against sanctions on Putin's Nord Stream 2 pipeline. People in this body, both sides of the aisle, said, Mr. President, sanction the pipeline, don't allow it. Putin said, I want it. Biden gave it. Ainsley, I used to have a, uh, <clears throat> I used to have a, a, a beagle named Roger. And Roger was a rascal. About every two weeks, Roger would run off. He'd always come back. But about half the time, he'd come back dragging uh, roadkill that he would hide under my back porch. Uh, President Biden's energy policy looks like something Roger used to keep under my back porch. <laughs>